Right. I don't use bit closer. I don't usually do videos of, of showing people how to do stuff. Because once you show people how to do stuff, then they know how to do it. You can't have that, right? When you when you're trying to make a living from what you're doing. But so this is a rare example, right? But the reason why I'm showing this is because you know I think there's going to be a bit of benefit um, to masons and the general public. Now, this is a CL80, not a blind CL80. Uh, now Otterbein will only supply the Mason's Mortar and this is the colour of Otterbein and so you'll be told that uh, it, it will make a buff coloured mortar and you can see here this is it mixed one and a half to three if you think it's going to make a buff coloured mortar it won't It'll just make it'll make a white coloured mortar because that's what lime does. If you if you want different coloured lime mortars, then you don't uh, a different coloured quick lime mortars, I should say. Then you know don't don't, don't have don't have quick lime. Right, see so see, this is starting to steam a bit. You see how dry it is. This is how you've got to mix a CL80. So ow 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 right. That's slaking and it's dry slaking. You can't wet up a CL80 Otterbine straight away, otherwise you'll drown it. So this has probably been going about 10 minutes dry, right? When it dry slakes, then and only then, really, do you need to think about adding the water. Okay, so you just want to chuck a bit in because you've got to keep the slate going otherwise um, you'll stop the reaction because you can do two things with a lime you can either burn it that's not adding enough water if I just left this to go it would it would just it would just dry out completely because it's slaking from the moisture in the sand so there you go and it will, it's such a slow slaker, you can honestly go and put the kettle on and then and then come back and I give it a poke and it'll be warming up, but don't don't chuck all your water in because otherwise then um, then you're gonna you're gonna drown it. So this is just a gauge, small volume mixing because it's because it's winter. We don't mix big volumes in winter because it's a hot lime, unless you're gonna be able to use all of what you mix pretty much straight away then um, it's just going to go cold right so you can see now there's a fair bit of heat generating from this don't expect it to go like don't expect it to be Calbox because it isn't it's much slower than Calbox like I say before I even I've, I've spent 10 minutes dry mixing this before even thinking about adding some water So if you're after, if you're after the Calbox instant whoosh, then you know you're not going to get it with an Otterbein. Right, one gauge. So as long as the moisture content is being used up by the quick lime, you're slaking. Once the moisture content has been used, you're burning. So with a with a with a CL80, you you you've got to get it just right. Okay, so we put we use two gauges. So it's about plus six in Oxfordshire today. You can see, I'm putting the horse hair in with the water. Now, nine times out of ten, if I'm um, if I'm mixing a bucket full of water, if I'm using larger gauges, I'm using buckets, I'm going to put my horse hair uh, in, in the bucket because it disperses in the water. Okay, so this is now about ready for a whiz. 
Now, personally, I don't like single paddle mixers. You're up against it with single paddle. Can't use them mixers. So you use a twin paddle. All quicklime mortars in winter, in the middle of winter. You can't use all the NHLs in the middle of winter. <laughs> now, what will happen is this will just continue to dry out, and as it does, dry out, stiffen up, just add a bit more water. Don't want it too sloppy, unless you're plastering, or, or snack harling. This stuff's brilliant for harling. You really ought to, you really ought to give it a go. What's that, Jan? It's on fire. It's on fire. <laughs> no, it's just not. She's always worried about her thatch. It's always, it's gonna, it's gonna be set fire to, isn't it, Janet? Yeah. Yeah. So, we've got a nice initial slake, and what's going to happen here is this is in the process of stiffening up. So, with some um, some quick lines you can tip everything in, you start slaking immediately. Uh, I've, I've heard, well, I've never tried it yet, but I will we'll try some shaft line at some point. Apparently, that's meant to be a bit volcanic, that'll start firing bullets at you. Um, I use a number of quick lines. One of the reasons I like this, I use the CL80 is because it will go off in winter much more quickly. Than any natural hydraulic line because it's got impurities in it because it's only it's 80 percent available lime unlike a calbux for example or a hydro lime um, which is a cl90 so there's actually there's no need for pots of that so it's just mix And if you're an early bird and you're applying first thing in the morning, if you're at a height, give your brush before you go home, even in the middle of January. Um, and if you're not brushing before you go home, you'll be covering it in two or three layers of wet hessian just to stop the evaporation, just to stop it slowing down, just to slow it all down, slow the set down. Now, if you want to slow the set down, that's when you add some natural hydraulic lime, right? Because if you're adding lime to lime, you'll only increase the free lime content. Don't think that NHL will act as a porcelain. It won't. Don't think it will set it quicker. It won't. Now, if you want to use a, you, you know, don't start adulterating. Like all the builders started adulterating lime with cement. Don't start that now right, when you're using quick lime. Don't start adding things like natural hydraulic lime in the hope that you're, it's going to set it off more quickly. It won't. Keep it pure. Add a pot salon. If you really need to, to CL to CL CL90. Do not need to add a pot salon or NHL or anything to CL80. You're bastardizing it, you're adulterating it. truck got a mixer in rubber or steel steel drum because otherwise if you go past it if you go plastic truck you will melt it Nice, 
nice slate going there. You know, it, it's not instant, it takes a bit of time. So, you know. Not quite an hour. But that's, that's hit 100 degrees, so you're okay. Well mixed now. The reason why you use horsehair with a quick lime mortar, you don't need it in an NHL, but you do need it in a quick lime mortar. Right? The reason why you put horsehair in is the reason why the Masons put it put it in in the 16 and 1700s, and it's to it's to hold it together to help reduce cracking. Right? But you'll always get cracking in a quick lime mortar. But this, as far as I'm concerned, is the least cracking mortar. This this Osterbein CL80. I wish, I personally wish, see there's a little lump, horse hair, from the stables next door. Those people who've got to buy their horse hair in, it's lovely tail hair, and they have to start chopping it up and putting it in. You just want it, you just want it X horse, horse in, and with a few bits of straw as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shove this in the back of the car because I'm only working around the corner, creating all this mess at home, which might sometimes upset some people, I don't know why. Um, it's got back of the car, straight up the ladders, onto the apex, and in. Right, and I've used that before it goes cold. Um, and I'll come back and mix some more if I need it. Here's a, here's a little bit of gallus in stone, because at the end of the day you'll be filling your holes as you go. I'll give it one more go. Now I've also got a drill around the corner, and when it stiffens up, which it will because of the amount of free lime, I'll whiz it up with maybe a little bit of water as it as it starts to because it's losing moisture with the steam. You see, so that helps it to stiffen up. <laughs> right, try and bash the excess of the paddles. Help you save the game. It's not having to be arranged as you can see. Well, that's done. As per, as per cost guidelines. Right. Why use wheelbarrows when you when, when when this is a wheelbarrow effectively? Right, just about ask where my phone was there. Right, you, you pressed up now. <laughs> 